David Williams Jesus Ministries here. In 1 Samuel, the Lord God talks about how stubbornness is as idolatry. And that's interesting because God was telling an individual that his unwillingness to change, his unwillingness to do what God was telling him to do, was as though he was worshiping an idol, was as though he was worshiping a false god. One of the things about doing ministry is I notice how adamant that the un that the, the those who don't know God are. A lot of you are just driving about, going to work and going to the various social events, all on social media, seeking out new sexual relationships, specifically seeking somebody who is going to be impressed with you, your dress, your speech, your knowledge. As regular people, we're living lives that are so regular that they're not like the life of Jesus, but God is going to hold you and I accountable for how much like Jesus we are based on his commands. So God has commanded us to behave like Jesus. And that doesn't just mean you grab a Bible and you start reading over the passages that talk about Jesus and then you try to perform it. Jesus taught that we had to be reborn in order to be considered sons of God. Jesus does not teach you that simply being a human, simply being human, makes you a child of God in the most important and in the most significant sense. So while you are a child of God because you're human, you are not a child of God if you have not been spiritually transformed by Jesus. So Jesus wants to spiritually transform you. If you are not transformed, then, and transformation, as with human life, is a process of growth and development. And once you stop developing in the sense that your body no longer takes in nutrients and minerals and food, once you stop taking in things, then you're going to die. And it's like that spiritually as well. So even for, so for some of you out there are not walking with God. You, you do what you want to do. You say what you want to say. You live like you want to live. And you ignore God. Well, God considers you as a worshiper of another God. You have replaced God with yourself. You are your own God. And you're pretty secure in that. You might disagree that you are your own God because you might never, you may never have articulated it that way. You may never have examined it from that perspective, but you are your own God in the eyes of God. In the eyes of God, in the eyes of the creator, you've replaced him for yourself. And that's the definition of being stubborn, ignoring truth, regardless of how true it is, regardless of how accurate it is, regardless of how much evidence it has, you are still going to just live your normal life find out what your wife is doing, make a run to the auto store, you know, just walk up and down the neighborhood, say hello to friends. You're gonna ignore the fact that God has created you with purpose and for a purpose. That's what most of us out here are doing. We're just ignoring the fact that there is a God and that that God holds us accountable for knowing him, seeking him, trying to interact with him according to his will based on his standards, based on his expectations. And so the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of the father of creation, the spirit of creation, he wants you to know that his power can enter you and change you and make you like Jesus from day to day. And so give your life to him today. If you are already saved, Make a decision to continue to change today and pray and ask God what that, what areas of your life 
need to con- need to continually develop. Honestly, every area of our lives need to need continual development. We have, but development isn't accidental. So whether it's our time with the Lord in prayer, whether it's how we react to adversity, whether it's how we respond to pleasure or temptation, we need to make a decision to do what God is telling us to do today. That's important. We need to continually develop. If you're angry easily or whatever your weaknesses are, we need to be praying about them and working on growing past where we've settled. We need to move forward. We need to continue to move forward. If you're not saved, if you've not yet committed your life to Jesus, commit your life to Jesus. Make a conscious decision to go to church, a church where Jesus Christ is being preached about and where his personality and his power is being exhibited. Go to church. If you're in the West Palm Beach area, you can come and visit us here at 1750 Osceola. If you're not in Palm Beach County, in South Florida, go to church and commit your life to Jesus because he wants to change you. He wants to free you from the consequences of a life of idolatry. If you're stubborn, you worship idols. That's how the creator sees it. If you live that way, then he's going to punish you on a permanent basis. And you don't want that. I don't want that. God doesn't want that. This is David Williams with Jesus Ministries, and we'll talk again.